Okay. Let's talk about this inverter. Once you'll see it in front of me, you'll may have an idea of what's wrong with it. On fr on Friday the twenty first, I think Friday was the twenty first of last month. The inverter was on. I was using my dehydrator. The dehydrator is one ten, so I use the big transformer on it all of a sudden i noticed there was an outage and it came back on everything came on but for some reason i didn't put the dehydrator back on i put on the mains and uh, i checked the inverter it was running it was putting out but for some reason something keep telling me to take down the inverter which I did and I opened it right there and then and to my behold I found I took out the screws if you notice this I saw that and uh, this balloon capacitor this is uh, the rest of the capacitor I've ordered a capacitor already from China the first video I made for some reason with the GoPro I couldn't get it to download so now I'm making another video now this has two problems one the fuse are too close to the capacitors now I saw these at the back here and I put some sleeves to protect this but I didn't see this one the fuses are into some speed connectors they in some speed connectors right here and uh, speed connector is resting on the body of the capacitor so when the thermostat didn't kick on the fans it heated up the capacitor and it blew it up now this here I do think you'll be able to see that is a thermostat it's 45 C that's for the fan and this one here is 65 C that's for when this get hot for this Fumas that to switch off the whole thing, but for some reason it didn't switch it off. When I put my hand on the body of the inverter, it was very hot, I couldn't touch it. So, these inverters are very good inverters they do what is supposed to do it's running everything at home but the only problem is it's too compact and the fuses are too close to the capacitors some of the 
the speed holders that hold in the fuses are resting on the capacitors. The other thing with this inverter, they say it's 220. But I assume one of the reasons they didn't put a ground on it. When you test the legs, one leg to the ground, you get one something. And when I can't remember exactly how much, but when you test the other leg, you get a lower voltage, which make up the 220. It's not 220 direct. But those of you that have one of these inverters, check your fuses and how close the fuses are to the capacitors. The other thing is test your fan because these inverters would run for a good time. If you don't put a heavy load on it, it will run without the fan coming on. But the moment it has a heavy load, the fan won't come on. I don't know for the others, which this one is a 3000. I don't know for the 2000 and so forth. But the 3000 has a problem. I will be checking this out. I also going to I will be taking out that thermostat and put a lower. They have 65C. I going to put um 60 or or 55. I can't remember exactly how much that if the inverter gets hot, it will put it off. And for the thermostat for the fan, I'll put a 40. But I'm going to test this thermostat to see why it didn't put on the fan. I had an external thermostat on this. The external thermostat came on at 45C. The external fan came on at 45C. But the internal fan didn't. I ordered a, a 24 volt fan to put it direct. But the fan I ordered was is too big. This is a 12 volt fan. It's taken 12 volts somewhere there. I would be taking out this whole thing and testing that to see why I didn't get 12 volts going to the fan. This is it for this video, this short video. It's just an eye opener for those of you who have one of these inverters, uh, things to look out for. I'll be getting the capacitor very shortly and I will be putting it in. But meantime, I'm going to take out everything on this to get into it. I won't show when I take it out the bottom and so forth to get to the board. But when I do get the capacitor, I will show, I'll make another video of me placing it. If you find this video was informative, please like, comment, subscribe, Click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos. Thank you and goodbye.